Hi. I need to get this off my chest, so uh, as a native Texan, I uh, I got to get this off my chest right now. I know it's stupid, but I'm going to do it anyway because, well, I can. So what you're about to witness is just some more stupidity for me, but we're going to be doing this tonight. You guys are about to witness something you've never seen before. Well, maybe you have. But if you leave this live stream, you're going to witness something you've never seen before. It's okay if you leave it. But it's going to be something really, 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 really bad. It's going to be something very, very bad. Not really, but... I'm, I need to vent, okay? As a native Texan, I just recently found this out a few months ago but now I'm pissed off and as a native Texan I think it's wrong so I want to make my uh, voice heard on my live stream because where I'm going I mean I mean nobody I mean nobody's gonna take this video seriously of course I don't want you to take the video seriously but I need to get it off my chest I am a fat guy that has been loyal to this company and I think my opinion should be heard. You're a Californian. Stop it. Come back home. Long Beach is waiting for you. <laughs> I am not a Californian, bro. I am a native te uh, Texan. I was I was born and raised here, boy. Yee! I was born and raised here. You can't you can't say that. I was born and raised here, bro. I'm gonna go do something because I'm pissed. My my heat my my anger tolerance has finally boiled over. I have to do this on live stream because I feel that people need to hear my voice. A lot of people, of course, uh, if they can't see that this is not a joke, then, geez. But, obviously, it's a joke. But, just because I'm having a little fun, and I feel a little better tonight that the bills were paid. You know, I haven't had any bills paid in a couple of months, so it feels good to at least have bills paid. But, the point of it, this is going to be a, a a funny, stupid video, okay? But, I, I mean, I'm taking it seriously, though, but it's still going to be... No harm, you know, I'm not insulting or degrading anybody, but I'm pissed right now, okay? As a native Texan, I think it's in my best interest to do this. If you guys leave the live stream, you're going to miss out on me, bro. It's kind of sad if you do. I'm doing pretty good. How about you? Feel a little better. Still angry, but a little bit better. I'm not going to let this slide. I'm sorry. With Whataburger, I'm just not gonna let this slide, bro. I mean, obviously, you know, I'm doing this in, 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 you know, as a joke, but I'm not gonna let it slide. Oh my God, you took a right turn so fast. Where the hell are you going, buddy? Holy crap, the speed limit's 70. You're going at least 85, 90. Nah, you're going 90 at this point. I'm not letting this slide, nope. Wait, why am I wearing Whatever, I'll wear it. Hey, 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 I'm over here, boy! I got my lights on. You don't see me? Oh, shit, which way am I going? Oh, wait, left me. Right. Duh. Wait, no, wait. Okay, okay. Ah, 
shit, I missed my turn! Wait. No! That's fine. I'm pissed off at Whataburger. They want to give me, they want to give me, I, I know what I'm doing. I, I, I know this city more than I know myself, okay? I, I represent San Antonio. Well, I don't represent it, but I mean that um, great city with great people, and I love this city very much. Matter of fact, I love it more than any other city. And Los Angeles, though, I'm getting there. You know, I kind of love L.A. too, but San Antonio is my number one. Now, like I said, this place ain't perfect, but... It's my city, and I enjoy this city very much. A lot of people will say, oh, no, Ben, stop talking about San Antonio. It's not the best city in America. It's got too much crime. I know this, but that's not the point. I'm talking about livability, costability, economically. Um, I'm talking about just in general, the roads in the city limits are pretty okay. Um, you got Best Buy over here. See right here, you got Best Buy. This is the north side, though, but you got Best Buy and... You know, it's it's a really nice area. I hate people that try to downplay how bad San Antonio is. Drivers, drunk drivers at 12 a.m., yes, that's a problem. Uh, crime and break-ins are a crime, yes, that's a problem too. But I love my city, and I just, I, I honestly, I don't feel myself living anywhere else. When, when you have the relatively safe city of San Antonio in comparison to, I mean, yeah, it gets crazy down here, yeah. And it's a democratic city, yes. But in 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 terms of of reliable, in terms of reliability, and in terms of people being friendly for the most part, yeah, you can get into a car crash or something stupid. Yeah, of course. But just in a relatively term, look. See, I don't even need GPS. That's how much I know the city. Look at Waterburger over there, thinking they're all that. Look at that. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at Whataburger over there, just chilling over there, thinking they're all big and bad because they got the beautiful gold and white arches. Yeah, yeah, okay. Think, they're thinking they're better than McDonald's, which which they are, not going to lie. I'm pissed! So I'm going to go take out my anger. I am a... Remember, I'm mentally ill, so I'm going to take out my anger on Whataburger right now in a stupid, funny, comedic way. Hurry up, don't turn, don't turn, don't, 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 okay, go. This is what I do, I'm stupid. I need Whataburger to look at this video, or look at their, uh, videos, because I'm tired. I got a Dr. Pepper today that tastes like ass, okay? It literally tastes like ass, and now I'm pissed. Then the more I looked into the Whataburgers, their quality of service and customer care has gone down tremendously since they got purchased out by a Chicago firm in 2019 when they closed the deal with a Chicago-based firm. So technically, Whataburger is no longer a Texas-owned company. Technically, if you want to get technical. And I, now I am so mad that I found this out. Okay, I got a, I literally got a Dr. Pepper that tastes like shit. It tastes like chemicals and water. They didn't change out the Dr. Pepper uh, machine and it just tastes like pure so, uh, salsa, whatever the hell they call it. Rich people drink. It tastes like, uh, uh, what's it called? Um, Pierre, what, what do you guys call that drink that rich people drink? It's like a green bottle. It's called Pierre or Piegro or... What what's that stupid drink that rich people drink? Pellegro or something? I don't know what the name of it is. It's like, dude, Dr Pepper is the crap. I don't know what you're talking about, dude. It was made uh, San Pellegrino. Thank you. Yes, that's what it tastes like. Even though it was Dr Pepper, it tastes like San Pellegrino. Just all nothing but like crap. Okay, now I'm pissed. And then the more I looked in the quality customer service. I mean, it's okay. Pellegrino, it's okay. It's okay. It's a rich people drink. 
I guess you could say it's rich people soda. But it's like water. Anybody that doesn't like Dr. Pepper should unsubscribe from my YouTube channel. No, I'm just kidding. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't even care if they did, to be honest. Because Dr. Pepper was made in Waco, Texas. And I'm, I'm right now, I'm insulted. I am a fat guy. And I like Dr. Pepper. So now I'm pissed off. I looked at all the facts. And now I'm angry. I've known about this for a few months. But now my anger has now boiled into rage. And now I'm going to voraciously take it out on Whataburger. In a, in a stupid, nonsensical way. I've done this before to other places. And I'm going to do it to Whataburger. For no reason. I love, I love, um, I love Whataburger, and now I'm pissed. Whataburger was a staple of, of, of Texas. It was a staple of our beautiful state. And it's so disrespectful for what they have done. My Dr. Pepper tastes like San Pellegrino. It was all salt. It was all carbonated with no Dr. Pepper taste at all. And I asked for another uh, thing and they wouldn't do it. So now I'm gonna take out my anger on Waterburger. They wanna play these games with me. I'm not a person you play with. I'm gonna call them out on their bull crap. So now I'm going to take out my anger and then I'll be fine. As a person that b believes that Texas is Texas and Texas should always be Texas. You know, I think it's ridiculous. I see water burgers in the middle of nowhere. I love water burger, but I'm going to take out my anger and I'm going to, you know, take out my frustration. And if you people don't agree with me, then I understand that. This is how I vent. Yes, Whataburger is in every major city in Texas, I think. Uh, yeah, they, they should be in almost every major city. Also, they're located in New Mexico. Uh, I know Florida. I think they're in Louisiana. I think. Damn, San Antonio's looking good today. Beautiful city, man. Y'all need to come visit. Y'all really need to come down here and visit one day. It's a nice place, I tell you, it's nice. It's not the most perfect city, yeah, okay. But like I said, it's a great it's a great place. I don't know why people don't come down here. During the summertime, you don't want to come down here, you'll die in the heat. Where do you live at there, uh, uh Ruben? If uh, uh, Ruben, uh, well, I don't know what your name is. Sorry, Laredo, the hottest city in Texas. How you liking it down there by the border of Nuevo Leon? In my opinion, Laredo is the hottest city in Texas. My opinion, based on what I've seen, historical data, and then actually going there during the summer. great city I have no issue with Laredo I love Laredo the one way is a little bit weird inside the downtown limits though Laredo it's a little bit weird though um yeah no your, your guys is um downtown area is a bit strange is that a fucking hearse 
That's a freaking hearse. Man, you can put a lot of stuff in the back of that thing, though, if you need to move or something. That's for damn sure. Oh my god, that hearse is nice. Why are hearses always so nice? You want to play these games? Play these games. Look at these people, thinking they're all big and bad. You sold out! Hey! Y'all sold out! Y'all need to move your headquarters out of Texas. Y'all sold out. You don't belong here in Texas. Y'all want to sell out to Illinois? Well, then get the fuck out. Get the fuck out of Texas. Y'all want to sell your shit? Then move. Y'all don't belong here. Y'all don't belong here. Fuck you. Even though I love you guys. The fuck out of Texas. Punks. You sold yourself out to the devil.
Uh, the security guard was just looking at me and just kind of waved. I told you guys I was going to do something so stupid. Like, I told you. Don't even take it seriously. <laughs> I told you guys I'm just stupid. I told you. Didn't I tell you I was going to do something stupid? <sighs> I did. I told you guys, I'm, I'm just doing stupid shit. I told you, did I not? I love Whataburger. I don't know what you guys are getting mad at. <laughs> That's their headquarters. That's Whataburger's headquarters. <laughs> I told you, I'm stupid. I told you. I'm the kind of person that would drive 300 miles to do that and then laugh. I, I, you have to have comedy, comedic value in your life. Like I said, it's just stupid shit. I'm not even doing nothing. Damn, this place is beautiful though. I like this area, San Antonio. Hi, you wanna wait? Stupid. I can't say. All I know is that I live on the northeast side. Damn, you got a big old flat tire there, buddy. I'll just ask us. Oh, uh, it's 67 degrees right here. It's comfortable right now. It's perfect. Shit, it's perfect right now. I'm telling you guys, during the fall and winter, San Antonio is a great city to come and um, visit. It's perfect. You know, the security guard wasn't even mad. The security guard was just looking at me and waving. I guess I'm not the only one to do that. Seems like a normal thing to them. I don't know if it's normal or not, but I'm, I can't be the only one. Obviously, you know, I'm never going to trespass or... You know, break the law. I like doing that. You know, I'll go to headquarters. I went to AT&T's headquarters in Dallas and I screamed them out for like 30 minutes. I actually got out of my car, paid for parking, walked to their headquarters and started screaming at their building while they were open. And security guard told me, what's wrong with you? And I told him, well, they were messed up my auto pay on my AT&T prepaid account. And they fixed it, surprisingly. I, I don't know what happened. But after I bitched at them, they turned my auto pay back to where it was. I got a call. They say, well, give me your phone number and AT&T will give you a call since I'm at their headquarters. So they actually did. I was shocked. But oh my God, it seems like screaming actually works. And who the hell is the one that threw all their shit out of the car? It must come out of a, like a trailer or something. All this trash. Look at all the trash. Well, it wasn't trash. I think that was rocks. Well, anyways, guys, I'm dumb as hell, but just wanted to show you. 
Well, the, the, the temperature is 67 degrees, so. But the, the more you head north in the city of San Antonio, the colder it gets because of the elevation. See, on, in, in downtown San Antonio, the elevation's around 600 feet. But when you go to the north side of the city, it's 1,000 feet. So you go 400 feet higher. So it does theoretically get cooler the further north you go. This is some of the richest areas in the city here. Uh, anywhere north of the airport and northwest and west of the airport is, is upscale neighborhoods. Um, there are some here. Terrell Hills is nice. Um, pretty, Animal Heights is pretty nice. Hello, know you. pissed off at Whataburger okay they gave me a Dr. Pepper that tasted like San Pellegrino even though it was Dr. Pepper and then when I asked can I get another refill since this one tastes really bad the lady didn't want to change out the Dr. Pepper packet in the machine the the, the liquid the, the stuff that you put in the machine that you change it out so I'm pissed off about that. Here, there's another water burger right here. Let me see something. Let's see if let's see let's see if, if they'll uh, get me a new Dr. Pepper here. They don't taste like crap. I mean, I'll pay for it. I don't care. But well, Ben, it's been a good talk, but I have to leave now. All right, you take care there, sir. Let's see if I can get a cool Dr. Pepper here. Hey, you got a yacht sign. You got a yacht sign. Ah! Let's see if they'll make it right. Well, we got some nice water burgers here, but also this is their headquarters too. Damn, my brakes sound that bad? <clears throat> hey, I got a question for you. Yes. The I got a Dr. Pepper about three hours ago. I don't know if you guys will or not. I got a Dr. Pepper three hours ago and it tasted like San Pellegrino water, even though it wasn't. And I yeah, had to throw it out. It must have probably been out. Would you like another one? I mean, are you gonna charge for it? No, of course. You can just pull forward. You sure? I'll just have someone bring it out. Yes. Okay. Which lane do you want me in? Um, it's gonna be the second lane. You just pull forward, and we could give you a large Dr Pepper. If that's okay. I appreciate that. No problem. Thank you. No problem. Whoa! Different customer service, I guess. You see that shit? All I wanted was a King Dr Pepper, man. Well, hopefully Whataburger sees this video. Probably not. Oh my God, how nice are y'all? I appreciate that. Thank you guys. Yeah, sure. Have a good night. Holy shit. Damn, bro. I wasn't expecting that. I didn't mind paying for it, but damn. They just gave me a Dr. Pepper. Bro, I appreciate that, man. I'm thirsty for a cold DP, man. That's all I wanted. 
That's that customer service that I like, man. I'm, I'm shocked. I'm very happy now. <laughs> I'm actually really happy right now. I wasn't expecting that. Did you guys see that? They gave me a free Dr. Pepper. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, guys. My car's a mess. I don't, I don't want to embarrass myself, but my car's a mess right now. I ate some food earlier. All right, let's see it. Beautiful Dr. Pepper here. Nice and refreshing. Let's take a sip. Oh my God. Oh my God, that's good. Excuse me. Oh my God, that is so good. Oh my God, they actually, oh my God, that one tastes normal. Oh, that was good though too. Wonderful, I appreciate, um, I appreciate them doing that. Thanks, I, that's all I wanted was a cold DP, man. Like, I'm not even, you know, I wish Whataburger would commend that Whataburger, if you know the address of that building. They need to commend the person, man, because that wasn't right. That's all I wanted was a cold DP, right? That's it. I mean, it's like when somebody wants alcohol, they get alcohol. You know, they expect it to taste normal. Not, you know, taste like San Pellegrino water, even though it's Dr. Pepper. Like, I'm not, I'm not angry with Waterberg at all. I just wish they hadn't sold out to Chicago, Illinois, a, 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 an equity firm. That's all. Hello. Guys, by the way, this video is for satire purposes. You know, I'm not I'm not actually taking it seriously. It's a Dr. Pepper. I mean, it, it was only like two bucks. I'm not, I'm not I'm not taking the video seriously. I hope you guys are not actually taking the video seriously. That's not how I actually am. I it, it's more for comedic it, it, you know purposes. That Dr. Pepper do be tasting good though. Hey, what kind of bird? What kind of car is that? My car, my V4 will never beat your car, buddy. My my V my V4 will get stuck in the mud. Dude, Ohio route. Yeah, no, that shit was nerve-wracking, man. And that piece of crap car kept stalling. But the weirdest thing is, it only stalled on that road, which is weird. I've actually been to, I've been on it twice now. It's in uh, Zanesville, Ohio. When I was in Ohio, I would call Ohio, Ohio. Dude, Whataburger has some of the best tasting Dr. Pepper, too. You know who has the best tasting Dr. Pepper from fast food joints? Not McDonald's. McDonald's sucks. Um, Jack in the Box and Whataburger. Who else has the best tasting Dr. Pepper? Bill Miller Barbecue does, too. Bill Miller Barbecue. Um, yeah, no, Bill Miller Barbecue for sure. Um... In and Out Burger has some really good tasting water burger. I mean, Dr. Pepper, sorry. Good tasting water. <laughs> oh, shit. Anyways, guys, this is just a for fun video. I didn't even know that I was within 30 miles of Water Burger's headquarters until recently. I think that's kind of funny. Water Burger is a, is a really interesting burger joint, I'll tell you that. 
And they have really good, um, what's it called? I really like their chicken strips. I don't know if you guys have ever been down to Texas or Florida, but they got some really banging ass chicken strips, though. Chicken bites and chicken strips. And their water chicken, too, is really good. But anyways, guys, I'm going to let you go now. I just wanted to broadcast this little stupid video. Bye, guys.